What's up guys, this is Ali Allenport coming at you with another video and today I'm going to be going over how to deal with stress. A lot of us go through stress, stress is constantly all throughout our life, we experience it on a daily basis and you know there's two types of stress that I want to go over. But first, before we get into the topic, I would love for you guys to click the subscribe button right next to it, you know it's going to help the channel grow a lot, make a great impact on the channel and there's a little bell right next to it if you click on the little bell it'll notify you every time I upload a new video so you'll be the first person to new when the new sauce is released so let's get to it stress there's two types of stress there's good stress and then there's bad stress bad stress plays a big role on the human body it comes from our thoughts and our thoughts become reality right so whatever we think about and sometimes we got we just have a lot going on in life sometimes there's bills that we're behind on or there's a, the relationship problems that we're going through or work is just going tough like there's just a lot of factors that come into stress and sometimes we can't really or we might feel like we don't know how to control them or what to do in order to actually deal with it so there's two types of stress the there's the the bad stress the bad stress literally is a cancer it literally starts rotting on it starts off with an idea and it's a clutter of a bunch of things and when we're not mentally focused when we're not mentally organized we start developing these thoughts and these thoughts turn into feelings and these feelings turn into emotions and the emotions start rotting inside us and spread like a disease into our body which then causes chest pain right and then it starts causing illness all of a sudden you get sick for a whole week you don't feel good all these things come from our mental mind state of mind as to where we're at mentally and there's the second type of stress which is good stress good stress stress is pressure pressure creates diamonds right so it's a two, it's, it depends on how you go about the process of making the diamond. Now, one of them is gonna lead to cancer and destruction, right, bad pressure, and the other one is focused pressure. Think of a flashlight. A flashlight has a big spectrum of light, it doesn't go too far, and you kind of are looking through the dark and it helps you, yet it's not as strong as a laser. A laser, man has literally created a laser that you can point on the moon and you can see with your naked eye the laser on the moon. How much focus does it take for that light to actually reach the moon as opposed to a flashlight that you can't see after a certain amount of miles, right? So that's how you deal with stress. Now, you can have your mind all over the place and let your emotions get in the way, or you can look at it from a logical perspective, sit down, just take a deep breath, meditate, clear your head, rid it of all distractions, and then write down on a piece of paper or on a Word document, start typing all the things that are stressing you out. And then go into a plan of action. How am I gonna handle this? How can I solve this? From a logical perspective, can I fix it? Can I get rid of it? Or do I just have to change my attitude about it? And when you go through those three things, one by one, and check off the list, and actually start executing, now you have a perfect, clear map as to how I'm gonna execute and how I'm gonna manage this stress-related problems that I have in my life, as opposed to waking up and just, it's like a file cabinet. Think about this, it's like your brain is your office, right? Are you gonna have your office have papers all over your desk, papers on the floor, papers behind you, and there's just papers everywhere, and they're not even organized, they're not even in the right folders. So when you walk into your office, you're like, man, I don't even know where to start. That's how stress is in your head. Or you can actually have like a file cabinet where you're gonna be like, okay, this is where this is, this is where that is. I know exactly where all my papers are. They're nice and neatly put away into the right folders. The folders are labeled, they even have tabs. So when you need it, you can go directly to it, open it up, go to the page that you need, boom, there it is. That's the plan of attack as to how you're gonna manage your stress. Now that will lead to diamonds. That will lead to life giving you the best rewards. Now you gotta get excited about the problem, but don't forget, make time for yourself. Rest, take the time to give back to your body. It's okay to make time for yourself. A lot of us feel like, hey, I don't deserve it. I'm not where I need to be yet. No, I made that mistake, don't do that. Rest and time for yourself and play time is just as important as hustle, work, and grind. But you need to make time for yourself. Mentally, meditate, and then second, physically 
planning out your plan of action as to how you're going to win. Juice, I'm going to be posting a lot more this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't let stress control you. You control stress. Let's go out there and make some diamonds and be ready to rock and roll. Don't forget to click subscribe. See you guys soon.